Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here, and I want to do a quick tip on how to play outside the chord changes in a very practical way. So what I just played at the beginning of the video was um, a line, and then I took it up a half step, and then I brought it da back down to where it was before, and that's actually taking it outside the chord changes. So the line was at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, you could do that over a, any number of chords. Um, let's see, the notes I'm playing, just in case you want to know, are, this is on um, alto sax, A, D, G, F sharp, D, A, G, and that could work on G major 7, could work on A minor 7, I mean, there's so many different possibilities there. Uh, anyway, what you then do is you take it up a half step, so it becomes... B flat, E flat, A flat, G, A flat, B flat, A flat. And then you bring it back down to where it was before. And the thing at the end was um, G, F sharp, A, D. Okay, so the chord doesn't change. It's the same chord for the whole time. So let's say it was a G major 7. You just, you'd have that G major 7 played by the rhythm section the whole time, and you would play it both in the regular key and then up the half step. And those notes that were technically wrong because you're playing it up a half step, they don't sound bad because you provided really strong context by playing the same exact line before in the correct key. So I know it sounds a little bit weird, but try it out, it works great. It's a really practical way to start playing outside the chord changes. And you can do this with any any line, any lick, any melody. It's, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to sound good. You could also go down a half step um, and any number of combinations. So experiment with it and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And thanks for watching, Jeff Schneider, have fun.